Hi everyone, in this video we will create this responsive validated login forum in react.js See it required if you write something like this Email not matched Again not matched if I write like this The error has removed same for the password See that has Okay, it is a responsive so let's check it See for smaller devices it looks like this Okay, it is fully responsive so in this video we will create this in react JS. so let's get started hi everyone in this video we will create a responsive login forum with validation okay in react JS. Uh, i have created my react app and i created this file by the name of forum.js and another file style that says i will write my code here i will start here let's write react function component export it will write something like this and let's write class name i will add a class name to this container and add another class name which uh, this would be forum container okay forum container and now we will hit our forum and here we should have um, email and passwords field first let's create a do and this would be Class forum group okay and now we will create a, a label this would be email HTML for email and let's create an input field a type would be email okay uh, whenever we would like to change enter the video in this name we should store that in a variable uh, we will create a state const email set email is equal to use state i will use use state hook for that by default that is empty in the same i will create now for the password okay this would be for password type should be password and now let's create one another for password password and now let's click on change and on change we will just change the value of uh, email set email and e dot target dot value the same thing we will write for the password e dot target dot value set password okay we changed the value of them when we are entering so now let's create a submit button or we can say login and on the top of this uh, forum let's create log h2 login forum and at the bottom let's create a link which would be for sign up Now let's add some uh, CSS design okay to this yes to look better on the screen and then we will add validation to this forum so first I will design this I will stop the video because then I will show you the code okay it will take time so I wrote this CSS code for our container for our forums okay for the container class for the upper div and for the forum container and for the forum and forum group after that for the input field and for the button h over and button so i wrote it looks like this okay i run the server and pm start after that it looks like this okay it looks like this so now let's add the validation okay when you click this button it should be validated so let's come here mm, so for the validation i will create one another variable const errors and set errors 
is equal to u state okay let us type of uh, array with us we would like to store our um, uh, errors in this object uh, now whenever we click on this uh, submit button okay so let's call submit on submit we will call handle submit let's create this function const handle submit is equal to create an event let's, yeah now let's write here event dot prevent default press default submission so after that we will call a function for the validation so let's set our uh, const errors is equal to okay errors is equal to we will call validate function and we will pass uh, okay we will call the this function so let's create this function so let's create this function const validate is equal to first we will create an object where we can store our errors and then if uh, the email was empty so then we will attach append error dot email is equal to email is required else if if there was the a text or the email was existed in the input field so now we will write our um, regular expression that slash space slash s plus this means that without space accept all character uh, then we have the art sign again slash s we will have the characters then we will have a dot sign in our email then we will have we should have um, again the slash s okay plus okay and dot dot now we will call with this regular expression dot test method and we will pass our email to this so if uh, the email was true so it will return um, it will execute this uh, uh, block of code but we will add not sign whenever it is true so it will uh, whenever there is an error in the email for example space and something else so it will change uh, when it uh, return false okay when it return false we will change that to the true to execute this block of code so here we will append our error error dot uh, email is equal to email not matched okay if there was any error so it will display that to us else we will just make this uh, element empty okay if there was no error we will make this empty uh, the same thing so let's copy this for the password I will write something like this okay a password was not existed in password and also change it to the password now we will uh, add the instead of this regular expression for um, the password i will simply add a password dot length was less than eight so then it will uh, execute this for us password not matched otherwise make the password filled empty and now we will return this error return error okay we will return this error to this area so now we will set errors our state to these errors now oh sorry okay if there was no error in our input field so let's write that the object dot keys uh, we will pass our errors here dot length was equal to equal to with zero if there was no errors so then alert us done okay and now we will display our errors on the screen so to display that let's write something like if error errors dot email existed so then display this div for us display the errors dot email error for us 
and let's add a class name and that would be error and the same thing we will add for the password but it should change to the password let's change the color of this error to the read yeah let's check it now so let's refresh it yeah it looks let's press the login button see email required and password required let's add just use of um, we should change for the our to check our own validation let's remove the um, HTML own validation built-in validation so now we will check it plugin email not matched let's add just sign like this not match again if I write like this something see the error has removed the same for the password if you have listing password not matched if you have more than see that is okay so the errors has removed So it was all about the responsive login for wallet. So let's make it responsive. Okay, it is not responsive for smaller devices. Yeah, so let's make it responsive. Let's come to the CCs at media screen and max. So then we will just change this uh, the form container. Let's come here. Yeah, form container. Where is that? Yeah, form container. We will change the size of this. Where it should be, for example, seventy. So let's check it. See, it looks like this now. Okay. Uh, but uh, let's make it. Mm -hmm. Max width was 900. It will width would be 70. Yeah, but it would be 60. And if the if it was C one hundred it will be seventy five. Let's check it now. C looks like this smaller device. So I hope this video helped you. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for watching.